Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kay and today I'm going to be reviewing the Makers Academy Coding Bootcamp so that you can decide whether a coding bootcamp or if Makers is right for you. So if you're not sure what a coding bootcamp is, it's essentially an intensive course designed to help you learn and apply different programming concepts so that you can then be accelerated into that first junior developer role. I also have a full video breaking down what a coding bootcamp is just in case you're not too sure about what that is and want to learn more about that. So the first question is, does it work? Well, I did Makers Academy and I finished back in September 2019 and there was a cohort of about 25 of us, which is about an average size cohort. You can usually expect between 22 to 27. And within the first three months, I'd say about 20 out of 25 of us had landed um, our first jobs, which is actually about average probably to the higher end of average uh, makers academy does quote that um, the average time to get employed is about three months if you do their boot camp and i would say that was fairly accurate it took myself about a month it took some people as less as uh, little as two weeks uh, some people it took them two months three months and i'd say by about the six month mark um, nearly everyone in, within my cohort was uh, employed so the next point I want to address is starting salary. So Makers quotes an average starting salary of around about £32,000. Um, I would say that's actually pretty accurate. I started around about that same um, level as well. So to put that into perspective, the average reported graduate salary across all industries across the entirety of the UK last year was £23,000 per year. So you can see that it is a fair bit higher than the average graduate salary. Um, for a 12 week program, I would say that's actually really, really good. The next point I want to address is what kind of technology um, do you learn at Makers? So what kind of uh, programming languages, what kind of frameworks do you use, etc. So Makers is taught predominantly in Ruby for about the first uh, half of the course and then you start to pick up some JavaScript as well later on. You do cover other uh, fundamentals such as web development frameworks. So you use uh, Sinatra and Ruby on Rails and you do cover a bit on databases as well. So they use uh, PostgreSQL. Beyond that, then um, it really comes down to you uh, applying what you've learned and using that to then learn new additional technologies. And there you have the flexibility of kind of choosing what it is that you want to then focus on, which then feeds into what you're going to be doing in your final project. So I'll touch a bit more on that a little bit later on. I think it's really, really important to stress that it doesn't really actually matter too much what programming language you learn, if it's your first language, because the hiring partners, so the employers, a lot of the time they don't actually ask you to code in a specific language, they just ask you to do a task in whichever language you're comfortable in or many of, uh, many times they'll ask you to not even code at all but explain how you would solve a coding problem but how you do it logically so you don't need to worry about too much about the syntax um, because they're essentially looking for people who have the potential to learn so really um, it doesn't matter too much about uh, what you focus on in terms of the language within a bootcamp. It's all about that process of um, learning how to then learn um, any other subsequent technology or languages that you need to learn for your job. Now, I currently work as a backend software engineer, so I work quite heavily using uh, SQL and C Sharp. And I guess my one criticism would be that during the Makers course, there wasn't um, too much in depth of going into databases and SQL, it was quite introductory. So I did feel like there was quite a big learning curve when I first got employed. But one of the core positives of Makers is the fact that they focus so much on, this, on the process of learning how to learn. So because when I first started my role, I had to learn C Sharp and TSQL quite quickly. And because I had those processes instilled in me that I'd learned from makers, I was able to quickly kind of just pick up what I needed to learn. And then in a very programmatic way, do my day-to-day -day tasks, um, just kind of on an ad hoc basis. And I felt that that was um, really, really powerful for myself as a um, junior software engineer who's just essentially taken the first steps into the industry. Right, so what's the core structure like at makers? Well, the first four weeks is designed to get you up to a certain threshold level so that you can start um, pair programming and working groups with other people and there aren't any fundamental gaps in your knowledge. So you'd be covering the basics of Git, um, data structures, algorithms, um, conditional flow, um, the basics of object-oriented programming, so using classes and objects. And once you've done that, you'll be essentially going on to the following four weeks. 
So from the fifth week onwards, you're going to be doing a lot of paired programming and that involves you having to um, program with a partner. So one person will be programming, the other person would be analysing and commenting on the code. So it's called the driver navigator pattern. And this is something that you'll do a lot and it's really, really important, especially in the uh, software development industry because this is something that I do um, as a software engineer quite regularly and it's something that you won't really get much exposure to if you try and self-teach yourself everything because pair programming you obviously do need a partner. Now to add on to this you'd then be working in small groups of four to six in what's known as an agile team. So agile is essentially a way of working where you break down your application into uh, individual features, you then assign those features to different members of your team and then you work and you can kind of uh, physically visibly see um, the progress of each feature as they go from a to-do list in progress and then maybe in a test review phase and then uh, eventually into a production. The fact that Makers Academy um, taught us these agile processes has been incredibly incredibly important for myself as a junior software engineer because it's something that is used widely across the entire um, software engineering industry and it's really really useful the fact that you do get early exposure to that um, compared to someone who has been self-teaching themselves, you won't really get that chance to work in these agile teams. Now, all of the processes that you develop, such as pair programming, uh, working in agile teams, all of those um, writing clean architecture techniques, it all builds up towards a final project that you do in your final two weeks. So the final project is essentially a project where you can design it any way you want, in any technology you want. It can be about absolutely anything that you want, so you have full autonomy over it and it's down to you and your team of usually four to six people to create this project from scratch all the way up until it's a final finished product that can be used by a user. So when I did uh, Makers Academy, I did a virtual reality um, maze game and people could have a headset on where they'd be playing the game and they'd be running through this maze with enemies chasing them, it was quite fun. And that was really, really for me a huge milestone having gone from literally writing um, Hello World up to creating this fun application that users could try on, they're running around. There's loads of features in there, such as a life counting system, a score counter. So that just goes to show how much progress you can make when you're learning in a structured environment, such as Makers Academy. So what's the application process like? Well, when I applied, I was working full time at the time and it started off with essentially just a written um, application where you write a little covering letter on why you want to do makers as well as your basic contact details and then usually someone from the makers uh, sort of hiring team they'll reach out to you and they'll just confirm um, you know why you want to do makers and then they'll invite you for an in-person interview and the in-person -in interview consists of a face-to-face -face interview just to um, learn a little bit more about yourself uh, what you're currently doing what you want to do and a small code test and the code test isn't too tricky it's not designed to trick you um, the person normally interviewing you will help you with some uh, basic prompts if you're kind of near the answer and prior to that you should do um, one of the uh, learning tracks on Code Academy. so ideally the one in Ruby because um, the code test was in Ruby and I believe the reason why they use Ruby is because it's not a difficult language to learn in terms of the syntax compared to um, statically typed languages such as Java or C Sharp. And that leads me to my next point which is cost. Now Makers Academy is on the pricier side, it costs about £8,000. Um, so there's initially a £500 deposit and then you pay the rest of it um, when you start the course. Now there is a discount for uh, women and gender minorities so there's a £500 discount for that but there are also additional paths where you don't have to pay tuition at all so there's a I believe a pathway scheme as well as a fellowship scheme that they run so those are quite useful if you want to look into those as well and Myself, I went with the uh, normal route, so I paid £8,000, um, but I would say that it was definitely worth it for how much I paid for a couple of reasons. Uh, firstly was there was quite a lot of um, coaching-led uh, tutorial sessions where we would go through uh, different concepts of um, programming, so how to debug, um, the basics of algorithms, how to apply those. There was also um, a third party company which ran um, technical test interviews with you to help you prepare for um, real technical tests so you would sit there with a senior developer and go through a coding problem 
and then following that you would then get some feedback based on how you did so that you could improve. And in addition to that, Makers Academy also has an extensive range of hiring partners and career support. And I felt like that's where the real value really came in from me. Um, so just to put it into perspective, when I was applying for myself, I was sending out dozens of applications every week and I wasn't hearing back from too many of them. Um, only a couple of them I reached um, the interview stage. Whereas with Makers, um, out of say five applications, I would usually get about four interviews. So that for me was um, where the real value came in and in addition to that there was also a full team of uh, specialists in helping you prepare for these um, software development interviews as well and I found that really really um, helpful and it's something that I wouldn't have gotten if I tried to attempt to do it all on my own um, by self-learning so I would say that putting all of that stuff together that it was definitely worth what I paid for it given um, where it took me and where I am now currently. Now that's not to say that when you finish Makers and you get a job that's it they're done with you you'll be part of the Makers alumni community and once you've joined the alumni network you'll then be invited to um, exclusive events by Makers which don't cost you anything and those I found to be extremely helpful as I progress in my journey as a software developer so they have engineers from Google um, Uber Eats, Deliveroo, etc. And they were essentially be running workshops. So I attended one that was run by a Google engineer on machine learning, which I found really, really uh, useful since machine learning is just an interest of mine right now that I'm exploring, but it's not something that I use in my work. But I know that from what I learn, it might be something that I could introduce in a certain project in the future where it might be applicable. So looking back retrospectively now with all of the time spent, the money spent, do I regret my decision having done Makers? And I would say absolutely not. It was definitely one of the best decisions I've ever made in my life. There's not many ways where you can literally go from hello world to landing a software development job in as little as four months. So I'm gonna end it there, but thank you again so much for watching guys. Uh, please do like and subscribe if you're interested in getting into the tech industry and share with anyone you think it might be helpful. Hopefully this has been inspirational and motivational for you too. And I'll see you in the next video. See ya.